Have you ever wondered what this playground flooring is made of? Most often it consists of special rubber pellets which are supplemented with polyurethane gluin dyes. The final results not only reduces the risk of injury, but is resistant to temperature changes, precipitation and even spiked shoes. The coating is produced in the form of ready-to-install rolls or made right on the spot. The video shows specialists of a British company working with the Latin method. The coating is called wet pour and the pellets are made in Switzerland using synthetic rubber. It can be installed all year round, but you have to wait at least 24 hours to step on it after it's finished on requests. The site can be decorated with different patterns, which requires a variety of dyes, and the thickness is easily adjusted depending on the playground equipment. Now let's check out the Tasmatik concrete molds manufactured in Turkey. Now you can create the garden of your dreams, they say on the website. But the molds are suitable for other locations too. The dimensions of this mold are 16 by 16 half inches with a thickness of 1.6 inches. It's made of plastic or aluminium and is easy to handle and clean. There are also options for imitating paving stones and creating unusual paths consisting of butterflies. Working with the mold is very easy and the video tutorial is only a couple of minutes long. A huge advantage is the ability to quickly return to the starting point if you don't like the result. Combining different shapes will allow you to awaken your inner designer and implement your most daring ideas. Continue our selection with some engineers from France who offer nothing less than the result of innovation in thermoplastics. What have they come up with? These are the seeker block, foldable formwork blocks. One of the key advantages is weight. A pallet with 150 blocks only weighs 838 pounds and each block is only 5.5 pounds. That's about 80% lighter than competing products. Work will be much more convenient thanks to easy cutting and joining by folding hinges. The material is resistant to rotten any weather conditions. Once you install a wall, it's comparable to a reinforced concrete wall in a number of characteristics. The standard block is 24 by 8 inches, but other options are also available. The manufacturer emphasizes that the material is ideal even for complex projects such as elevator shafts and retaining walls. And of course, it's environmentally friendly. Here is another formwork option, this time from Germany. It's a versatile modular solution from Pascal suitable for even large or complex projects. It's made of steel and lined with 0.6 inch thick, 11 ply birch plywood. Segment height reaches 108 inches for the maximum concrete pressure of 1,253 pounds per square foot. A wide range of elements in a universal screw connection solution make it easy to work with foundations, shafts, supports and purlins of various configurations. And thanks to its modularity, the formwork adapts easily to any floor plan and any height parameters to within an inch. For example, the formwork was used to create the treetop walk tourist attraction. Implementing 112 supports ranging in height from 16.4 to 75 and a half feet. This solution comes from the US. This is the bin wall retaining wall system. Essentially these are 10 foot wide adjoining containers that can even be filled with soil from the construction site. The advantages of the system include simplicity. Even unskilled workers can install it. Low cost. Both installation and maintenance will not cost a lot of money and convenience. No specialized equipment or expensive tools are needed for installation. Bin wall is used in a variety of tasks from reinforcing roads, including railroads, to protecting coastlines from erosion. The system is also suitable as a breakwater system and can provide an additional degree of protection for military installations. In addition, it is flexible. The bin wall can withstand unexpected ground movements that would destroy more rigid constructions. <laughs>